Hi, everybody. This is Joel Simmons for another Two Minute Turf Talk. It is the heat of August as I sit here in my studio. Today, we're supposed to reach a temperature close to 100 here in the Northeast. These are the toughest days for anybody trying to grow any plant material, but certainly turf. Take a look at this soil test. This is a paste extract that came in just recently from a client that we've been working with for quite a while. As you can see here, the bicarbonates are not very bad, but look at the sodium percentage. The sodium numbers aren't bad. It's, only, it's less than 4 ppm of sodium, but the percentage of sodium is extremely high. And what this means is that there's an imbalance, and particularly between potassium and sodium. What will happen in a scenario like this, especially in the heat of the summer, in these last few weeks of August, is that that sodium will flush into the plant and it'll dehydrate that grass. You might see scenarios where you see wilt, but of course it's 100 degrees outside, so wilt is common. But understand the difference between chemical wilt, sodium-induced wilt, and temperature wilt. By identifying it on the test like this, we can stay ahead of that curve. So the solutions here are to flush out the sodium. And remember, the sodium is most likely coming from excessive use of irrigation water, which is common here in the summer. Best scenario here is to take a good humic acid product and build a flush program. Here at Earthworks, we've been using the kick flush program for a long time, or as we call it, the kick rinse in program. And what it does is it allows humic acids to come in the soil and sequester the sodium. A, a good calcium product breaks it free, and then we use a, a surfactant to push it all through the soil. And then that is followed up by applications of soluble potassium, be it potassium sulfate, something of that nature, just so that you can keep ahead of that curve. Staying ahead of sodium at this time of year is very critical. Mm -hmm.